Okay, let's look at how all this works using an HR public sample. In the public sample, I have a Java class called EmployeeList.Java that provides data um, from a local database to my user interface and it returns a list of employees. Within the constructor for the class, I inserted three different ways that you can log a message. The first one, trace.log, uses the ADF Mobile logging mechanism. The second one just simply uses the uh, system printout. And the third one is using the Java logger. All right. And then the uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to go to the logging properties. And I need to turn up the uh, logging um, level. And I'm going to use finest. This is all documented in the um, ADF Mobile Developer Guide as to what level of logging you should be using. Next is I need to go to the deployment profile for iOS and make sure that the build mode is debug. All right. Now, one last thing is I need to go to build and do a clean all. I, if I do previous deployment, there will be a temporary Xcode project artifacts laying around, so I need to remove those and make sure it's clean. Now I can go and deploy the application and I need to deploy it to a distribution package. It's very important that you, you pick distribution distributing to package. Uh, if you deploy for example to a, a simulator and then generate the Xcode project based on that, that Xcode project will not be able to deploy to an actual device. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go to Finder and see where the files gets generated. This HR folder is my J Developer workspace for this application. It's under the deploy directory and then under my deployment profile folder there's a temper Xcode project. Underneath that there's a file uh, with an Xcode project extension. So I can simply just open that. And there's a couple of things I need to uh, make sure. The first thing I need to do actually is to make sure I'm using the latest version of Xcode. At this time, it's 462. The reason is that so it properly recognizes the iOS devices running the latest iOS um, operating system. At this point in time, Xcode 45 is officially certified. However, Xcode 462 is also supported. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to verify a few settings in Xcode. First, I'm going to double click on the project and I want to look at the build settings. And in the build setting, I want to scroll down and look at co-signing. I want to make sure that the co-signing identity is a set to a developer certificate. In order to do that, you of course need to have the developer certificate installed to the keychain. And the next thing you want to make sure is from the EXO organizer, you also install the appropriate developer provisioning profile for your developer certificate. Okay. Next, I'm going to edit my go to product scheme and edit scheme. Uh, basically, edit my built scheme. I'm going to add an argument to the run scheme. And uh, what I want to do is I want to redirect logging output from a log file into my Xcode console. This will help me to more easily find the message I want to get to and do debugging. Now I'm going to plug my iPhone in and uh, display it on my screen through AirPlay. Put this on the side. And then I'm going to go back to Xcode. And I'm going to select my iPhone. And I'm just going to run it. What's going to happen in the background is going to build the project and then it's going to deploy the application to the device. And then it's going to automatically launch it and then all the logging messages will show up in the Xcode console. So this process is going to take a little bit of time. Okay, see the application is deployed. It's going to automatically launch that. I'm going to move this to, a little bit to the side so we can look at the uh, start to look at the console. Okay, as you can see, the logging messages st st starts to come out in the Xcode console, and I can select one of the rows and uh, my device. Now, the way I can find specific entries in the um, log is by going to Edit, Find, and click Find. 
then I just can type anything in. I think I uh, one of the log message I had um, print out. So as you can see, these three were the log messages that we added to the um, to the code. Okay, next I'm going to show you a neat trick in actually looking at and then downloading the file content associated with the application by going to Windows and bring up the Xcode organizer. Typically on iOS devices, it's really difficult to look at the files associated with the application within the application sandbox. However, if the application is compiled debug mode and is running on my phone, I can actually look at all these files that's associated with the application. For example, all these bitmaps in the documents folder, the connection to XML, and also the temporary folder. Right. Another neat trick is you can actually download that file onto your Mac and then um, analyze the files. So I'm going to click on that, go to my desktop, and find ADF Mobile Debug. And here's my file. Now, to look at the content, I will control click on the entry and say show package contents. That shows you all of the application data, including all the documents and bitmaps. And also, since this application uses a local database, you can also look at the local database generated from here. And you can use any SQL like through utility to open up this hr.db database if it's not encrypted. If it's encrypted, then you need to use the um, password to decrypt it. That's it.